Well, Gorga High has been without an extension to class for about seven years. There was kind of this view in students that we are just Woolgorga High School. We aren't someone special. We're not sitting in Sydney with lots of resources in this private school or anything like that, when really none of that is true. We can achieve to a really high standard. The Mathematics Growth Team program is about identifying fantastic teachers who have expertise and knowledge to share. So our trainers come into the school to work shoulder to shoulder with teachers to support them with implementing those ideas each day in the classroom. We're in a beautiful regional area on the mid-north coast of New South Wales and I'm just really looking forward to working with the mathematics teachers here. Divided by four, then I divided by three, then I divided by two. In the almost 10 years now that I've been putting my own classroom lessons up on YouTube, and it's crazy to think that it's been that long, I've learned a few lessons about what my own teaching, uh, or what characteristics of my own teaching really resonate with people. Number one, I don't think that solves the problem. Number two, I think it kind of flies a bit in the face of what they're trying. Interest matters, but that's not the only thing. Success is probably the most important thing that I want my students to feel. So for teachers, we would say, the kinds of tasks or activities that we give to students, we want them to have a low floor and a high ceiling. You might not need a lot of prior knowledge to start off with, but the task itself actually has a lot of sophistication and depth hidden inside it. I'm a trainer with the mathematics growth team. I was trying to transition the faculty away from the very traditional style of teaching and increase instead the, uh, the expectations of what our students can achieve. Yeah, so what are we proving? Prove using the sandwich theorem on that. One is less than or equal to... One is less than or equal to a half. Outside of science. Well, I started to feed them bits and pieces from either outside the syllabus or from advanced years in the syllabus, you know, nine, year nine, year ten, just to sort of get a feel for, one, could they do it? No matter what I gave them, they were like, yeah, we'll have a go at that. And then we started to expand them into, let's do some fun applications of mathematics. So the problem we set them was, how many marshmallows can you fit in a teenage boy? So there's your basic calculation stuff. And, and a marshmallow, or three or four, because you have to eat a couple to test them, make sure they're good, of course. You know, it's part of the joy of the experiment. And then they have to communicate that. They had to produce a little report. So they're then being able to say, I can do the maths, but I can then communicate what that mathematics means. How you doing well, eh? This is good. Here we want three lots of these. I took a little bit of a double take when we had extension two students. Yeah. I just kind of ran along with them, like, this is awesome. I graduated Wagooga High School at the end of last year in 2021. My perspective changed on my sort of level of math towards the end of high school where I was getting pushed by my teachers at that time. I was sort of thinking about extension too. So I think we all just went in there like, okay, Miss Winter, basically our school mum was telling us to do this, we better do this. It didn't take very much convincing. It was just kind of like, Phoenix, you, you can do this. You know you can do this. And for where you want to go after school, this will be really supportive for you, regardless of what result you actually get. Sitting the exam alone was really tough, so it was basically myself and five supervisors. Once I had finished the exam and walked out of the hall, basically, it felt like a ton of bricks had just fallen off my shoulders. It was, it was a big deep breath in, like I'd finally finished the hardest math I could do in year 12. I can basically do anything. Currently I'm studying a Bachelor of Cybersecurity and Computing with the Australian Defence Force Academy here in Canberra. And I think, yeah, there was a massive cultural difference between when I, when I started at Wilbur High School and when I finished.
We've gone from having no students in extension to, last year we had two students take extension to, this year we've got 19. I was thinking that it was super hard, that's why I really thought I was never really going to do it. But then it was all, all of Sarah's encouragement really encouraged us to push ourselves and that's, we ended up doing it. I'm evaluating from six and a half to six and a half. It'll be the same thing minus the same thing, so it'll be equals zero. Spot on. He does more than just teach the subject, he really engages with it and engages us with it. What's missing from that integral? Bounds. Bounds. What are the bounds? In which order? What goes at the bottom? One. One, right? It always goes smallest to biggest, straight up, right? It's fantastic to see. Like, we, Wilgorga High School, have a massive extension to class. Take care, everyone. Bye. Well, Google High School's not Hogwarts. We're not offering Quidditch matches and sumptuous feasts of high calorie food. It's a regional high school. And what we're doing here could be done at any school you care to name, I would think. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.